Peggy 12. Hello everyone, I'm Ryozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. I'm here today to bring you the latest info on Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. Hope you enjoy the show! Now, let's have a look at the latest information on Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. But before we jump into the details, check out the new trailer. Your grandfather, Red, was a fine, upstanding rider. Riders have to strike out on their own someday. Kana can guide you. Use the experience to learn what you're capable of and what you must do as a rider. This will put you out of commission. Come with me, please. I just know. This Rathalos will help us once it hatches. Off we go! Let's go. That kinship stone. Right? Some even say it was such a monster that laid waste to the village that once stood on this site. I've never seen anything like this. So you're saying that inside this egg... Should this Rathalos hatch and awaken to its destructive power, you will be to blame for what happens. Are you prepared to take that risk? Rathalos aren't monsters to worship or to make bonds with. Don't you get it? They're nothing but dangerous pests. Don't back down, buddy! Keep them safe in body. Ratha! There is nothing. Not only did it unveil more intriguing plot points, but Naviru, the protagonist's partner from the previous installment in the series, also made an appearance. He'll be along for the ride this time as well. The trailer also revealed that the egg you've been entrusted with contains Razewing Ratha, a monster with black wings spoken about in legend. But what does this legend really mean? Together with Enna and Naviru, you set forth on an epic, adventure-filled journey to learn the truth. For more info about the game's characters and monsters, please check out the newly updated official website.
As shown in the trailer, Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin will have a worldwide release date of July 9th, 2021. Next, we'd like to touch on product information. In addition to the standard edition, we are pleased to introduce the deluxe edition. This digital bundle includes the base game and downloadable content, such as layered armor for the player and an outfit for Enna. As a pre-order bonus, you can receive the Kimura Maiden outfit for Enna. Moving along, we'd now like to talk about the three amiibo that will be available on the game's release date. They include Ray's Wing Ratha, your Monstie, Anna the Wyverian who is friends with your grandfather Red, and Tsukino, a young hunter's palico. Each of these amiibo will grant you access to special layered armor specific to that particular amiibo. As well as a small daily bonus. We hope you're as excited about them as we are. The physical and digital versions of the game, including the deluxe edition, will be available for pre-orders soon. For more details regarding pre-orders, please visit the official website. Lastly, we'd like to touch on a special bonus that can be obtained in this game via a save link. If you have save data from your Palamute riding adventures in Kimura Village, you can receive Kimura Garb, special layered armor for the player which resembles the hunter's gear. Development continues on Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin as we prepare for its July 9th, 2021 release. We will be offering more details soon, so stay tuned. All right, let's dive into the latest info on Monster Hunter Rise, which releases on March 26th. We have a new trailer for you today, so take a look. in a giant stampede. They attack the village in a frenzied rage. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping out our village last time. face the calamity has given us so much hope. Fear my 
Monster Hunter Rise will finally be released on March 26th. And I'd like to tell you about everything we've announced so far, including the trailer you just saw. First, let's talk about the Wirebug, which brings a variety of new actions to Monster Hunter Rise. It provides some helpful ways to explore each locale more freely. For instance, by using the Wire Dash to move around quickly and even fly through the air. You can also run along high walls until you run out of stamina. Each of the 14 weapon types has its own unique set of attacks using the Wirebug called Silkbind Attacks. You can also use the Wirefall feature to dodge after taking damage. The Wirebug adds a lot of mobility to your moveset like this. Now I'd like to talk about Switch Skills, a completely new feature to expand your Hunter's moveset. As you progress in the game, you'll unlock the ability to switch out certain regular attacks and Silkbind attacks at will to create your own hunting style. The full game will have additional Silkbind attacks that weren't in the demo, so please look forward to that. And then there's Wyvern Riding, a new feature that lets you bind monsters and control them. It's quite exciting to face off against a dangerous monster and then just hop on its back to wreak havoc. This game has a new type of buddy to assist you during your hunts, called the Palamute. You can ride on its back and it will attack monsters as well. Of course, the Palicos are back too to provide various kinds of support. In single player, you can bring any combination of two buddies with you. But in multiplayer, each hunter can only bring one buddy along so you'll have to choose between a Palico or a Palamute. There are five distinctive locales in this game. Shrine Ruins. Flooded Forest. Frost Islands. Sandy Plains. Lava Caverns. Each locale has its own unique characteristics. This game also introduces new forms of endemic life that increase your hunter's stats or otherwise help out during your hunts. Make sure you search every nook and cranny for these creatures. You might find something unexpected. locale has new monsters with their own unique ecologies. Almadron. Rapna Kadaki. Gus Harag. Bishatan. Somnicam. Tetronodon. Echnosom. Great 
Izuchi. And of course, Monster Hunter Rise's flagship monster, Magnamalo. It's also known as the Wyvern of Malice, an extremely aggressive fang wyvern that pursues its prey relentlessly. Of course, many fan-favorite monsters also make their return. We already announced Rajang, Kezu, and Rathalos previously. But today, we showed off Nargakuga and Zenogar as well. Now, Mr. Ichinose, the director of the game, will tell you a bit more about the rampage. Hi everyone, I'm Yasunori Ichinose, the director on Monster Hunter Rise. It's good to be here again. The Rampage is a quest type where you protect Kimura Village from hordes of monsters. You have to use hunting installations to repel them and keep the stronghold safe. The quest is complete when all of the hordes have been repelled or when the final major threat has been vanquished. You start off by using the prep time before the monster invasion to place your hunting installations. Make sure you place them efficiently. When the counter signal is activated, your hunter's attack will increase dramatically. So that's your sign to get up close and personal. We're here to offer assistance. Your friends from Komoda Village will join as well and provide invaluable backup. There are also extra powerful monsters that lead the horde known as Major Threats and Apexes. Do not let it pass. The goal is to defend the stronghold and repel the monsters. Fight alongside the village's defenders and make sure no harm comes to the village. Quests in Monster Hunter Rise are divided into single-player village quests and hub quests that can be played solo or in multiplayer. Talk to the respective quest maidens to take on the quest you like. In multiplayer, you can use an online connection or a local connection to assemble a group of up to four players in the same lobby. Any player in the same lobby can take on a quest from the quest board in the gathering hub. You can use shortcuts to join quests in the lobby, even if they're already underway. There are four levels of difficulty depending on the number of players. And the difficulty will adapt on the fly as players join or leave. If you're playing HubQuest solo, you can use join requests to match up with other players via online communication. Use this if you're having trouble completing hub quests on your own. Players can also add a Hunter Connect tag to match up with other players who have the same objectives or playstyle. You can create your own Hunter Connect or join one made by another player as long as you're invited. You can also invite other players yourself to any Hunter Connect you've joined. Furthermore, there's a like function to make it easier to reconnect with people you've played with. When you complete a quest in multiplayer, you can send likes to other players using the directional buttons before returning to the village. If two players give a like to each other, they'll become mutual likes. 
making it easier to find each other's lobbies directly. Let's have a look at the camera feature, which allows you to take pictures on your hunts. You can zoom in and out and adjust the composition. The picture will display the name of the creature you photographed. You can view your pictures on your Nintendo Switch console or in the in-game album. If you want to take a selfie, this adorable little creature will help you out. Today, we announced the release date for Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. If you've played this game, you can unlock the default rider armor as layered armor in Monster Hunter Rise. On top of the deluxe kit, which contains another set of traditional Kimura armor, there will be a variety of paid DLC on the game's release date, including hairstyles, face paint, and NPC voices for your hunter, as well as layered armor for your buddies. But we have another surprise in store. The limited time demo that was made available in January will make its grand return on the date shown on screen. This time, we've added a challenging advanced quest where you get to take on the flagship monster, Magnamalo. This will give you a taste of what kind of monster it is. Taking it down won't be easy but we hope you try it out. The demo will have fixed armor sets, but in the final game, you will of course be able to adjust your own armor and skills. If you already played the demo in January, you can update it to this new demo to add the Magnamalo quest, and to reset your remaining number of tries as well, so you can start afresh. The four quests from the January demo are still available. So if you're playing the game for the first time, you might want to start with those. For our final bit of news for today, have a look at the following trailer. We are planning free updates for after the game's release. The first update will include several new monsters, such as Camellios, which we announced today. It will also unlock your hunter rank cap and add some related features. We will tell you about other updates at a later time. Let's look at the product info for Monster Hunter Rise one more time. The game releases on Friday, March 26, 2021. There will be both a standard edition and a deluxe edition containing recommended DLC. On the same day, we will also release three different amiibo. As a pre-order bonus, you can also get layered armor for your Palico and Palamute, as well as a novice talisman that'll help out during the early stages of the game. 
Make sure to pre-order so you don't miss out. We hope you enjoyed today's show. To reiterate, Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin is releasing on Friday, July 9th, 2021. And Monster Hunter Rise will be available on Friday, March 26th. Thanks for watching.